Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm on the mission to hit 100,000 subscribers before the end of 2025, and your support means everything. So don't be that person who watches but doesn't subscribe. Thanks for being here, and let's jump right in. Hey, hello everybody, yes, it's Vivia, and welcome back to another video on the Twin Place channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about commands. Very simple as it is. Commands for your Brain Rust series. Um, I am going to be doing a Girl Garden commands as well, but we're going to be using Commander. Um, I might make a separate video if you guys want me to change this into a commander thing. But for now, we're going to go over what he has made. Golden Milk has made this. Now, if you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. It means so much to me. Um, but yeah, going into this should be very simple and straight because we're just going to go look at what he has made. Um, but so going into your game, if you haven't gotten the kit already, you're just going to have to go get the links in the description. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. Everything should be already there for you. And go watch the last videos as we talk about some things. Okay, so last video we talked about the transparency of these parts. In this video, we're going to talk about the commands. And going into this, so um, we kind of already talked about some of these things, but you just got to go to um, your, yeah, everything's good in here. Uh, where is it at? Yeah, I could just double check and we don't miss anything. Oh, yeah, so go to your commands and service, service, and then also go to your configuration and server storage under modules commands. Okay, so whitelist, this is just basically going to make it so the player has this user ID can use the commands. Um, so to get your user ID, very, very simple, go to your profile and you should be able to uh, grab this nine number right here, um, as well as grabbing your friends. If you wanna add your friend, you just got a comma and you go down like that, very, very simple. Okay, so I'm just gonna do mine for now, but the prefix is a slash. If you wanna change it to an exclamation point or something, feel free to do that. Okay, so you're good with that, already done. Now, going into commands, how this works. Um, yeah, so he has the split arguments. Uh, we're basically going to be doing this to uh, split the strings and get to what the player is saying. But when the player is added, uh, we just do all of the main things. But we do a messaging service. So this is with the global messaging. Um, if you want to do a global announcement, which we talk about, there's also global server luck. There is also uh, leader stats. And then, uh, yeah, global announcements, which we talk about. So when it comes to global, that just means everyone gets it. So um, right here, as you can tell, luck value, server luck, and there we go. So that's really cool how he does this, actually. Um, but yeah, going into this, as you can tell, we have, uh, first things first, uh, we just check if they're whitelisted. If they're not whitelisted, we're not going to let them do anything. So what I mean by that is if they are not that player user ID, they are not able to do the commands. But when the player chats, we are going to uh, check if it's the prefix. So when it goes into the prefix, we're just talking about that, uh, you know, the prefix in the commands. So if it's a slash, if it's not a slash, we're just going to return end. We're not going to go do anything. But going through here, this is when we do the command thing. So going into here, um, we do a few things. So he has a few commands. We have slash thing, slash global thing, and he has slash event, slash global event. He has... Um, yeah, that's slash global event, slash event, server luck, slash global server luck, and then he has slash leader stat and slash announcement slash uh, global announcement. Um, so these are some basic commands. Now, you're probably wondering, okay, but how do you actually like type it in? So we're going to just look at how he did it. So if the command is thing or global thing, so if it's slash global thing or thing, I'm sorry, that makes sense. We are going to grab the amount. So that's going to be argument two. So it's going to be slash um, thing space. Let's say two. So you want two of these things, I guess you could say is what it looks like. And then we are going to do mutations. So argument three. So slash the thing, plus, uh, space two, space gold. Okay, so we want to spawn two gold things. And then we do the name. So that's argument four. Um, so the name is, oh yeah, the name. So you could do slash thing to gold thing. Or you could do what I did. So like, let's say I have... Um, that's not the right module. Uh, this one. Uh, so this is the name, by the way. So if I want to do human, I would do... So let me just kind of do this in like a little thing down here. So it'd be like we're saying uh, slash thing to gold human. Basically is what he's saying. So uh, yeah, thing, gold, and then human is the name. Um, so that's, that's basically what's happening. And then if it's global thing, it's going to spawn and do the same thing. So it's going to be like... Uh, global thing uh, like this basically just going to spawn globally um, but yeah so that's that's it for that it's not it's if that's easy to understand um, basically it's just we're using the arguments which is splitting their array 
Um, and that's where we're going to just get what the player said in each space, I guess you could say. Um, so like if you were to go down into uh, events, okay, so same thing here. So this one's very simple. It's just two arguments. Um, so you just basically do uh, event. Yeah, and he's actually checking the event name and event key. So if we were to go into here, it's going to be night. Um, and if you type it in lowercase or uppercase, blah, 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 um, same thing. Um, so night, basically slash event space night. That, it will spawn the night, basically. That's how that works. Um, and then going down into here, server luck, um, same thing, two arguments. So you just would do slash server luck and space two. Um, and then, oh, well, argument three. Okay, so it looks like there might be an argument three. So you could do two plus maybe space three, I guess you could say. Uh, and then leader stats. So this one I actually just tested out in the video, but you you would do slash, uh, and I actually, actually I'll test this for you guys, but it's just, yeah, so slash leader stat, um, twin plays, dev, steals, 100. So that means it would make my steals 100, basically. And you can also always do these things in the uh, dev console, at least when it comes to leader stats, which I could show you how you do that. But the reason we don't want to do that is because when it comes to data stores and everything like that, it could it could mess it up. So best to do it the way to do it. Um, announcement also pretty nice. Basically, you just split it and um, you just grab whatever is past the announcement. So slash announcement. And then if we do space, blah, 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 like a whole sentence or whatever, it'll grab that whole other part of it. So that's basically what we're doing here. OK, so that's it. That is all the commands he has now. Um, if you look at this, OK, so he hits, it says things we do else if blah, blah, blah. Um, it's actually probably best we go and look. Yeah. So if this else, if that else, if this else, if that. so basically he's just making all these else ifs um, very kind of simple to understand as well. But if you want to add another one, um, you would just go into this. So like I would say command, um, I don't know. And you, you could figure this out later, but honestly, like TP stuff, you would want to just use like HD admin in my opinion, but same thing, you know, command, uh, oh yeah, yeah, or like, uh, I don't know, equals teleport, you know, then um, then you go here, and then this is where you do uh, arguments. So, so actually, you would probably just go uh, like this. Let's do this instead. So if you were to go and make another one, sorry, just for example, as if command is going argument two and argument three. So, um, Oh, well, it depends how you want to do this. If you want to do TP to someone, actually, it's probably just uh, just this. And then, like we said, we'd go into here and you'd grab the uh, local username. Um, and then that's when you'd have to go through. Oh, my God, I just scrolled way too far down. <laughs> that's where you'd have to go down, grab the player stuff. So, like, I mean, we just have a username uh, like this. Um, return players, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then th that's where you would just go and uh, do the whole, like, basically the whole TP thing. So um, going over here, you'd want to get the player character and then you get their human memory part and then, you know, just send them basically is what you would do. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, you don't need the user ID. You would just want the player character. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's you can get player from character, blah, 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 username, but uh, we'd have to get the player first. Um, but yeah, so that's that's kind of my whole point of how this works. Um, nothing too crazy, actually, so very nice. Um, but yeah, you can just go and add more commands if you want. But um, let me just quickly hit play and just kind of show you and make sure we do this right. But yeah, so if you do, as you can tell, I already have 100 steals now. But so if I want to do rebirth, so I would just do, and I wish it would pop up right here, but that's my whole point. We'll probably do uh, commander later, but leader stats, uh, leader stat, uh, to plays dev, um, you know, rebirths 100. Blah, blah, blah. So now I gave me 100 rebirth, as you can tell. And then, yeah, I think you just do, like, thing. I forgot what, what the command arguments were, but that's why it's probably better to have commander. But, like, I don't know, thing. Or, no, we can even just do event. Let's just do event night. Okay, perfect. There you go. See, I just did an event the night. There we go. Now it's event night. Um, and, yeah. So, uh, very simple. Um, but, yeah, you guys. Uh, I hope you did enjoy this uh, tutorial. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Just leave more suggestions below. I'm going to do the model one very soon here as well. Bye-bye.